Hi everyone, my name is Sam Atkinson from Ohio.com and this video is to show some of the really cool things you can do in IntelliJ, particularly if you're coming as an Eclipse user. In my day job I've recently been doing a lot of pair programming interviews uh, and a number of those people are Eclipse users who have been making lots of oohs and ahs as we have been working through the process as they see all the cool shortcuts and just how little code you need to actually type into IntelliJ because it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So I kind of wanted to go through my top six cool things about IntelliJ for Eclipse users. So we have in front of me this contact list. So we're going to build a list of people up that we can search through or something like that. Uh, so we're going to do this in TDD style. So if I just create a new test, uh, put that into my tests. So let's call this uh, finds user searched for by name. Uh, so, the first really cool thing I like about IntelliJ and new users do is about creating new variables. So if I want to do my new contact list, so I have a new contact list, I can then just do command v or control v and bam, I have my con contact list. Now, one of the things you'll see throughout this video is a lot of the core cool parts of IntelliJ, just the way that it auto-generates code for you. So you, it makes it a lot easier for creating variables, for creating fields, uh, and we'll go on and show you that as we go on. So what do I want to do with my contact list? Well, I want to add new contacts. So let's create a new contact. So if I create a new contact, well, uh oh, I don't have a contact class. Now you could go file a new class, blah, 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 but IntelliJ has it for you. So I can do create new class contact. And there we go. My contact now exists. So if I flip back to my test, create a variable for that. So let's call this uh, Mike and then I want to add Mike to my contact list. So that's where number three comes in very cool, which is creating new methods. So you want to have an add method. Again, you could go over to your contact list. You could go, you know, public, blah, 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 create my class. But in here, instead, I can just go contact list dot add Mike. Haven't got add. Oops, sorry. Create method add. I now have add. Pretty cool. Um, so at the moment, my contact doesn't make huge amounts of sense because it's not got anything to indicate that it's Mike. So it'd be cool to add a parameter in here. So I want to call it Mike, as we said. So if I just type Mike in here, we have my fourth call video on IntelliJ. Um, again, you can guess what's coming here. Alt Enter, as it is for everything, create a constructor. And I have my contact. So as you can see, this just makes creating code immensely quick. So it's usually Alt Enter. If you see anything with bright red, Alt Enter, IntelliJ will have you covered. Um, this extra parameter stuff is very, very cool as well. So let's imagine that I've got, um, let's add some more contacts here. So contact list dot add new contact uh, Fred and Michelle and John. So you can see perhaps if I added extra tests and stuff and I've built up this contact list and then I go, oh, I need to add a new parameter. And you have to go through and go to all of these things and add it and it's, it's just so much effort. Whereas now all you can do is go, so I want to have an age of say 25. Uh, I can add that into the second parameter. So if I go into here, I want to call it age, hit refactor, everyone has an age. So it's really nice. Now with my contact list, so I said that I want to search for users. So let's create that method. So contact list dot find by name. Uh, let's search for my old man, Mike. Um, you can guess what's coming here. Create method find. So uh, brute force, we want to search through a list. So let's just create a contacts list, um, so contacts, add contacts, oh sorry, I want to create that as a field, and there you go, so IntelliJ has created my list of contacts for me, now here I want to go through it, so this is number five of things that are very very cool in IntelliJ, you can write all your big for loop here, but if you just type ITER and then tab, 
we have a coding template. So IntelliJ has lots of these coding templates built in so that it just takes a lot of the work out for you. And it also allows you to build your own coding templates, which is very cool for, say, if you're using JMock, um, you could write a code template for your expressions. Perhaps you always want to automatically throw a custom exception. Um, you can just build these up yourselves and it saves you a lot of time. So in my for loop, I now want to get the name of my contact to compare it. So for my sixth and final one, you could do write the getter here, but if I flip over to contact, so at the moment these aren't doing anything. Now when you have it grey and underlined, that generally means that it's saying this isn't used anywhere, but as always, Altemps has got you covered. So you can do create field. That's very nice, but also as opposed to creating individual fields, you can do bind constructor parameters to field. Does everything for you. And then if you want to create the getters for this, again, you can do alt enter on the contact or the loops, um, or you can also do this generate thing. So generate will create anything you want for you. So it's control N or alt insert on windows. You can do constructors, getters, setters, hash codes. It's just does it all for you. Let's create the getters. So that's very cool. And then if I go over to here, oops, sorry. Uh, so I'll go back to my contact list and then I can do contact dot get contacts fairly terribly named. Um, so let's rename that to get name. So that's control F6. Um, and then I can do, you know, equals to blah, blah, blah for Mike to do the actual loop. Um, I won't bother going through and finishing this test, but uh, as you can see, IntelliJ is immensely powerful. Um, and I highly recommend that you check it out if you haven't so far. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, queries, or anything else you'd like me to cover, then feel free to email me at team at ohio.com.